Hi guys, this is JasonMon.com and I'm here with the unboxing of a handset called the Sony Xperia E4. This is a mid-range towards the lower end of the segment and uh, this handset was announced in February 2015 and launched in March 2015. As I said, it's a mid to low range handset and its price tag is below $200 on Amazon India. For example, it costs $184. This is a test unit, that's why the accessories inside the box are a bit jumbled up. So this is the pair of headphones that's inside the box. We got this cable right here that can be used to be connected to the charger. Then we got a series of manuals for the Sony Xperia E4. And obviously we got a charger here that has basically remained unchanged from the days of uh, Sony Ericsson, if I'm not mistaken. And finally, we should be able to get out the phone. Here it is. That's it with the box. Uh, as far as I've read on the web, the packaging of the official version is also pretty sloppy, so we're not missing anything here. And finally, this is the Sony Xperia E4. Announced back in February and launched in March. Once again, priced below $200, only the unboxing today and a full review to come in a few days. This is a 5 inch phone and uh, we have quite a short cable for the charger, that's the first thing I noticed. Well, the headphones aren't exactly premium for a Sony device. Anyway, this model measures 10.5 millimeters in thickness and it weighs a pretty hefty 144 grams, which is pretty heavy for a 5 inch handset. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you can remove the back cover by starting at the lower right, as far as I know. It's a pretty hard process because the case seems to be of the wraparound kind. Here we go. That's the case, pretty plasticky and it feels a bit cheap in the user's hand. Anyway, the battery is now removable and you can see here the slots. We got the micro SIM card slot and the micro SD one. And now let's try and put the phone back into its case. And then you will see the setup process of the device. Well, easier said than done, here we go. And now let's press the trademark button on the side, on off button, and the setup will begin. Once again, this is the Sony Xperia E4. It comes with a micro SIM card slot, and uh, it adopts a five inch screen, an IPS LCD with a resolution of 960 over 540 pixels. Inside, we have a quad core MediaTek MT6582 processor, clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. Also inside 8GB of storage and 1GB of RAM as well as a micro SD card slot. There are two cameras here, 2 megapixel shooter for selfies, 5 megapixel shooter at the back with an LED flash. Also below the hood there is a 2300mAh battery and the OS here is Android 4.4.4. And the setup has started, we've selected English, I am aware of the info. Keeping some steps. Okay, and the last step, and we're done. Pretty straightforward setup process. I feel that the brightness could be a bit higher, so let's wait for the screen to load and turn it up a bit. That's more like it. As I was saying before, we got the 2300mAh battery here, as well as GPS, there's active noise cancelling, so as far as acoustics go, we should have no concerns here. This phone, the Sony Xperia E4, will come in black or white, and the UI feels very familiar to folks who have seen customized Android before, and I mean customized by Sony. We got a folder for the Google Apps, and I certainly want to see the camera interface. Okay, this is it, looking pretty minimalistic here and quite a few options related to aspect ratio, filming, as far as I know you can film in Full HD, we got uh, digital video stabilization which is not bad and some options here, quite a few options actually, keep in mind this is a phone that costs less than $200 and still we even have a manual mode so you can tweak your own experience like this. Change the resolution, self timer, there's HDR, AMI stabilizer, sound and a lot of other things. And I'm really curious about the filming, here's the proof, you can film in Full HD with this phone. I have to say, I have to be honest, the plastic feels a bit cheap in this case, it's actually a pretty cheap phone, so Sony had to cut corners 
in order to make this device so affordable. Don't worry because there is a bit of a superior version out there. It's called the Sony Xperia E4G. It was launched soon after this model and its design is a bit better. You'll see an unboxing of that soon. In the meantime, this is the Sony Xperia E4. Unbox at gsnl.com. We'll be back with a full review ASAP. Bye bye.